and today I'm gonna tell you about the story of Noah's Ark. One day, God looked at the world, and he was sad. All the people were doing bad things. Only Noah was good. God told Noah to build a special boat to save himself and his family from the flood. Noah obeyed God. He followed all the instructions that God gave him. Year after year, he worked hard building the ark until it was finished. Noah and his family went into the ark, and here come the animals. First, it was a rabbit. Tortoise. Mm. Crocodile. <laughs> Lion. <sighs> Camel. <sighs> Sheep. Bat. Hippo. <sighs> Elephant. <laughs> when they were all safe inside, inside God closed the door. It began to rain. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Soon the earth was covered with water. After it stopped raining, the water con continued to rise. Then the ark landed in a mountain rage. God sent a big wind and the waters began to drive. Noah and the floating zoo had to stay in the ark for several more months while the earth slowly dried out. Finally, Noah, Noah sent a raven out of the ark's window to look for land. The raven never returned. Noah waited another week for the water level to go down and then sent a dove to do the same thing. The dove couldn't find a place to rest, so it returned to the ark. Other week passed and then Noah sent the dove out again. This time it come back with an olive branch. Noah now knew that the water was low. Finally, it was time for all the creatures and Noah's family to move off the ark. Noah and his family and the animals needed to start life over again. After everyone left the ark, Noah prayed to God to thank him for keeping them safe. Suddenly, a bright rainbow filled, from, filled the sky. That was God's promise that he would never flood the earth again. And that promise is in Genesis chapter 9 verse 13, which says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. God put a rainbow in the sky and promised to never flood the whole earth again. That is for today. Bye!